If you're experiencing hair loss, you are not alone. I'm Dr. Robert Haber. Up to 80% of both men and women will experience hair loss in their lifetime. The good news is that there are many effective treatments available. In my practice, I'm asked regularly about treatments with PRP, or platelet-rich plasma. This is a regenerative medicine therapy that uses a person's own growth factors as a treatment. Plasma is the liquid portion of whole blood, composed mainly of water and proteins. Within it, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets circulate throughout the body. Platelets are tiny cell fragments that are crucial for normal clotting, but that is not all they do. Many growth factors are also stored in platelets, and once activated, these factors are released and go to work healing tissue. A PRP treatment involves drawing blood from a patient, concentrating and separating out the platelets in a small volume of plasma, and then re-injecting this platelet-rich plasma back into the target tissue. Sometimes a stabilizing material is added to the PRP, and often microneedling is included as part of the therapy as well, all to enhance the growth factor response. For hair loss therapy, the PRP is injected into the scalp, where the platelets release their growth factors, and the growth factors help stimulate hair follicles to grow stronger hairs. As with all hair loss therapies, PRP won't work for everyone, but if a growth factor deficiency is part of your hair loss disorder, then growth factor treatments can be beneficial. Multiple treatments will be necessary, and a typical treatment program involves a series of three monthly injections, followed by booster injections every six months. The FDA has cleared the use of PRP for a number of disorders, but not hair loss. However, PRP is used off-label by hair specialists around the world, and thus should be considered standard of care. PRP treatments should be part of a much larger arsenal of therapies offered by your dermatologist. And in my practice, I rarely use it as a first-line therapy, preferring to begin with less expensive treatments, including both oral and topical medications that are both safe and effective. Be cautious about undergoing this type of treatment at an office that, that relies exclusively on this treatment. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our office in Beechwood, Ohio.